FNAF at Freddy's. There were a bunch of kids in the theater that I went to, and there was this guy who was going, shh, shh, shush. So if you're totally lost and in the dark, and you're thinking of taking your kid and or his friends to see this movie, this is for you. Five Nights at Freddy's, sometimes abbreviated as FNAF, is a horror video game from 2013-2014 that became extremely popular over the roughly past 10 years and has been the source of countless prequels, sequels, spin-offs, <laughs> memes, and countless fan theories. There is a ton of lore. Don't take this too seriously. Don't listen to the critics. They don't know what any of it is. This movie is not for them. This movie knows its audience and it's making it for them. Don't be like the don't be like the guy in the theater that I went to who called the fucking manager because a bunch of 12-year-olds were acting my 12-year-olds watching a movie for 12-year-olds. Happy birthday, bitch. So now you're ahead of the game. Now you know because knowing is only half the battle. Mike the Everyman is struggling to make ends meet after the death of his parents and he's trying to take care of his little sister. He is haunted by the death of his little brother and has reoccurring dreams of the last time he saw him. And with limited employment options, he takes the night shift as a security guard in an old abandoned pizzeria. Strange and disturbing things begin to happen as he learns about the history of the location and its owner. The people who made this film definitely put a lot of care and attention into this. The games themselves are very open-ended, hence all of the fan theories and the lore. And the filmmakers really lean into this and they use interpretation as a central theme. And I have to say that's a fantastic idea. Who else would be better off to work with symbolism and imagery than filmmakers? You know what, god damn. Now, I don't have a FNAF at Freddy's lore degree. Judging from the audience's reaction, there's plenty to dig into. Relatively speaking, it's a little edgy for a PG-13 movie. This is definitely a showcase of less is more. The lead actor, Josh Hutcherson, did a great job. He felt very relatable and welcoming. Everybody, the acting in this film is pretty solid. However, there is this one supporting actress it kind of just sticks out a bit. I don't know what happened in the casting department. It didn't break the film. It's just a little distracting. I would just say she didn't seem to believe in the setting she was in. There is a cogent story for you to follow while the diehard fans get to indulge and go for another round of speculation. But keep in mind, it's not that serious. There's going to be a bunch of 12 year olds. Okay, so don't lose your shit. Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a fun time. It's a silly premise. I give it five nights out of five nights at Freddy's. It's not that serious. 